I don't know man, the only time I indulge myself to Philippine culture is when I play Dota. Dota too. <laughs> then I play, play Dota and then everybody is fine and you do something wrong and they straight put all the tanks in the mall man, I'm telling you. <laughs> if you know what If you know, say, you know lah. If, if you know, you know lah, you know. Yeah, boy! Welcome to the episode of... Can it, it or not? not? Finally, we are back together! Yes! Anyways, guys, my name is Sarah. He is Calvin, and this pretty lady right here is Agnes, and today we will be. Why she got pretty lady? Why I don't have some guys? This pretty guy is Calvin, and today we will be visiting three restaurants in SS2. Yes. Yeah. So as we all know, SS2 is a very hot spot commercial zone yeah. in the heart of Petaling Jaya. Yes. There are many cafes, many restaurants, and they are also well known for their durian stalls in SS2. Yeah, but yeah. Today we are not eating durian. durian. A lot of durian. By the way, we have found out three very interesting restaurants today to try out in SS2, so that you guys can know whether they are candy or not. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So Calvin, first up. SS2, we are coming for you. Coming for you. Alright guys, so right now we are in the flakes at SS2, the hub man. Okay, you can see the place is like all those Melbourne wipes. But I've never been to Melbourne before, so I don't really know what Yeah, I don't really know. So have you maybe, been to Melbourne? No. Yes. Maybe all the greens, I guess. But all I know is Melbourne has a lot of cafes that they are renowned for their cafes. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. And right now we are in one of the Melbourne inspired cafes in SS2. Alright, so the place has been operating for over two years already and still standing guys. So as you can see the cafe is a little bit more abstract -y, sorry bro. A very abstract. <laughs> Track. You can see some uh, concrete. They yeah. also break through a wall right in the middle, and they fill it up with greens to give you a very nice feeling and texture to it. So from far, right, it looks like a hole is decorated by plants. You know, <laughs> you see that every day. Yes. <laughs> Normally, I see up close. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> So most of the dishes here are infused with local flavours, right? So the ah. owner and the chef, they did their own R&D and ah. trying to make it a very local as possible and also try to maintain some sort of a very western type of taste inside here, like something like French, you know? Mm. So the main highlight in this place, right, is their croissant. freshly baked croissant. Croissant! Right? Croissant. 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 I'll be enjoying myself the Thai Thai by the beach. So basically this is a tiger prawn and squid pasta, tossed over bunga kantan, lemongrass, a hint of chili, some cheese, and alcohol-free ale. So I'm having a simple breakfast, and what you can find here is the usual big breakfast stuff. We have a scrambled egg on top of a croissant, which is their in-house croissant. We have hot dog, we have ham, sauté mushroom, potatoes, tomatoes, and some side salad. Last but not least, I'm having their crab meat scrambled eggs. Basically you can see on the play it has their signature in-house croissant with the crab meat and to take note they use real crab meat not oh. crab steak ah. not oh. element crab oh, steak no, no. Ah. Oh. real crab meat and also they have their signature aioli sauce so without further ado I guess we should try lah yeah oh, let's go this so I'm going also let's go what I have to say this is a pleasant breakfast for me the combination of everything is very nice and I love the addition of the crab roll and the seaweed on top mm. it gives it that extra umaminess the croissant is very flaky the scrambled egg is very smooth, melts in your mouth, and also they do not skim on their black pepper because every bite of the scrambled egg, I can taste that very pronounced black pepper aroma coming out. Mm. It's good egg, man. Mm. For my breakfast, their scrambled egg croissant actually they have peanut butter spread inside, and they are using a chunky peanut spread, which I love it. Mm. So it gives you that saltiness when you are eating, so you get that creamy texture from the scrambled egg, and then you got the nutty, crunchy flavor from the peanut butter, and together with the flaky croissant. I think this one is the star for the whole big breakfast. So I would say that the plate, right, if I remove the croissant, it will just be a normal... Yeah, it will be a very normal dish, but this one is the star for this dish. My dish, no croissant, you know, unfortunately. The pasta, when I first eat it, right, it gives me that feeling, you know when you buy the tom yum, the Thai soup? Tom yum soup? The tom yum soup, yeah, it tastes very similar to that. I think that's just seals the deal of being a very good Thai dish going on right here, right? The prawn, very nice. The entire plate, I is very Thai. -y. No, that's not wrong. It's Thai. No, it's not Thai. Uh, very Thai ish. Very Thai. Very thai <laughs> Hey, I just tried the tomatoes, eh. It's surprisingly good. It's very sweet. Okay. Very, very sweet and refreshing. Everything on the plate. Suddenly, <laughs> she praises the tomato. Hey, you gotta give credit when credit is due, man. So, right now, it's thumbs time for flakes at the half at the SS2, yeah? Are you ready? In okay. 3, 2, 1. Quite decent, very good. 
Ah, so in total, your flakes has obtained two, two and, and a half thumbs up. up. You should definitely come and try. It's really good. Yeah, for me, I give half is because not that they are not nice, just that I felt some other side dish can improve. Like it, it doesn't have that wow feeling for mm, me. But still, pretty good. Y'all should definitely come. And right now, we are in our second SS2 stop, Laguna Filipino Bar and Restaurant. First time in our lives trying out Filipino cuisine. Uh, yes. And our first time, we are given to can eat or not. Yep. A little bit backstory about this restaurant. They have been operating for around 9 years. This wow. is actually their second branch in SS2. Ooh. They also call this place Little Filipino. Why? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, they want to make them feel like home when they come in. And fun fact, all of their staffs are Filipinos. So you can make sure that you will get that authentic <laughs> That was fun, that was fun That was damn lame The first dish we are trying is the Biko Express Basically it's pork strips sautéed in coconut milk And you can see there are chilies inside also mm. Yeah, so I guess let's, let's try go, it out let's go, let's go, let's go Oh yeah, by the way, we are pairing it with their signature in-house garlic rice Yes Well, yeah, we have the Red Paws beer Yes, you have never seen this before I have never seen this it's before. A Philippine beer, beer, huh? It's a Philippine beer. Allegedly, lah, okay? All of the Philippine guys can take seven to eight tower of Hennekin beer. No issue. The tower, this one, three or four, done. They're dancing. But today, <laughs> I'm gonna put it to the test. They have faced the wrath of Philippines, but they have not faced the wrath of an Indian man, right? So we're about to go. <laughs> hey, let me have my time. I can't even let me have my time. Justice for Ali, man. Huh? Okay. Drink responsibly, ah. Ah, drink ah. responsibly. Red horse beer, bro. Red horse beer. For the Biko Express, I love it because it's full of the coconut milk fragrance So I can take as much sauce as I want to really pair with the rice And the pork strip, nicely cooked But some of the strips I noticed right, also got the fatty layer on it Oh yeah, yeah So it gives it that extra flavour So it's not just limit The sauce I think is run very well the essence of the coconut just gives you so, so much burst of flavour in the mouth And then the chilli, I would really ah! I really recommend you to try it out with the chili because the chili just gives another level of. Uh, oh, is it? Taste. Yeah, you must stick with chili. It's damn bloody good. For the second dish, we are trying this very cutesy looking eggplant dish. It is called Totang Talong, which means pork. You can see that the head of the eggplant is still there, the little yeah. tiny head here. Still very intact cute. one. You instantly you get a very smoky flavor in it. Somehow it reminds me of cigarette. I don't even smoke. <laughs> Tasting there, no. I mean, no, not don't, that it's bad. It's, it's a good taste, but don't smoke. Ah, come here and eat the other. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to smoke? Just eat. Come eat this, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, very nice strong smell, babe. They have the chart smokiness flavor coming out. I really love it. Yeah. And you can get loads of minced pork mixed inside the omelette. Everything goes well in this dish. Nice, very nice. Just received an update from the boss. They actually burn the eggplant first until it is soft and smooth. Then Only they beat. mash it and mix it up with the eggs. That's why you get the, the burn taste, you know? Yeah. Up next, we are trying out one of Philippine signature dish, sisek. This is seasoning sisek done on the top plate. Basically, it's seasoned with calamansi, chili peppers, and also Mayonnaise. Okay, for this is sick, right? Just now I took the outer layer part, which is the, the edge one, you know. I got a crunchy texture, but when I. From the chapa, la, the chapa. Yeah, from the chapa, but when I go into the middle of the dish, right? Then it's a very soft, slight mushy texture. And a bit sticky, sticky like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you get a very slight hint of sour taste from the calamansi yeah, because it's it. Yeah. The sprinkle on top just now, Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get a very refreshing palate when you're eating this. And then it reminds me, you know, when you go to Penang, you buy that oyster. Oyster pancake. Oyster pancake. Oyster pancake. Oh, it is like yes. there are some elements like it reminds me of that kind of dish. And right now, move on to the main event of this restaurant, the crispy pata, tenderized pork knuckle that weighs over 1.3 to 1.5 kg. Wow. Wow. Huge. Usually they serve with the soy sauce, but they also give us their vinegar. homemade vinegar sauce because Filipinos they like to dip their fried stuff into the vinegar, vinegar sauce. Mm. Yeah. In my opinion, this crispy pata is very well made. The skin is totally the winner here. Crunchy on the outside, but you also get that gelatinous texture in the middle, the fat layer, the collagen part. So you can see there's multiple layers going on. And when you pair it with their meat, everything just goes in your mouth very nicely and smoothly. So if you want to elevate the taste even more, dip it into their sour vinegar sauce. For me, the marination of this pork knuckle, right, somehow very similar to KFC. For me, I'm actually not a pork knuckle person because all the pork knuckle that I had out there in the Chinese restaurant, Right, the lean meat are always very dry one. Yes, yes. I hate that, I, and I always take the only the the skin part. But this one, when I first bite into it, yeah. the very balanced layer. You got the skin, you got the you got the fat. fat, and then you got the lean meat, and the lean is very very tender. And I would say it's perfect if you combine it with beer, right? 
Red horse. This is hands down. Yes. Philippine pork knuckle I've ever eaten in my life. This is only the first one you tried. Exactly. Exactly. I used to avoid pork knuckle skin because of health purposes. Not like I'm sick lah. I just don't eat pork skin lah. Okay. But I'm fine. But oof, Jesus, bro, the crunchiness, 200%. You know what I'm saying? It's a solid piece of pata. How does it? Pata, right? Pata, pata. Ah, oof, Jesus, man. But this you know, is makes a... me see patang in the morning. You know what I'm saying? You know? Okay, after trying out all these dishes, right? I just want to say I really regret why I don't try Filipino cuisine sooner in my life. Mm. Before we go, sometime I have to evaluate the red horse. Ah, the red horse beer, right? Is stronger than the special brew beer that you can get down there, the Casberg one. So if you are looking to attack your fellow Chinese friends, this is the beer to go. Give them one can, and you see them spinning around the house. <laughs> That's where it's absolutely right. And right now it's Tom's time for Laguna Filipino Bar in SS2. In three, two, one, one. Okay, so in conclusion, Laguna Filipino Bar Restaurant has three thumbs up, which means it is Hong Kong can eat. Good guys. For me, the overall experience is very good. Plus, the price is very reasonable, so you definitely come here and try. Yeah, it's all like 13, 14, 13, 14 like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just want to put it out there: Southeast Asian cuisine, we always go for Vietnam food or Thai food. Why not you guys also try Filipino food? Correct. Mm. Are you sing a song? Kun Inti. <laughs> Now we are at the last restaurant for this episode. We are at J1 J1 Noodle SS2. And this restaurant, located in the heart of SS2, is just right opposite the famous hawker center, the Waisekai, and also the basketball court. Mm. Alright? J1 was named as the taste of the noodles, brings back the fondest memories of the founder. So, day one, day one noodle, they serve Taiwanese delicacies, and you can see right here, like the buro mian, buro fan, braised pork rice, braised pork noodle. The star of this restaurant is actually their chiu chiu noodle. So this chiu chiu noodle, right? They use free range eggs and also specific high gluten flour to make it. No preservative and no processed product added inside. I realize uh, I keep taking the non-specialty dish of the restaurant. Like the first restaurant is the croissant. I don't eat croissant. <laughs> now I eating rice and eating the specialty of the noodles. Eh? What is going on right here? But I feel like the I'm rice is the specialty. The pearl rice from Taiwan. Oh. No, I'm Whoa. just I'm just making that. Hey. <laughs> This is rice was a king chana. Here, right, for the customer, they actually let you to refill your noodle once for free. Huh? For free. So uh -huh. if the rice cannot noodle <laughs> again. <laughs> So the dish that I'm trying is the signature braised pork chiu chiu noodle. As for me, I'm having their crispy chicken chop with chiu chiu noodle set. Same noodle like Agnes, but I'm here with a crispy chicken chop like very big piece. And I'm having their Taiwanese stewed pork rice done. Talking about personal preference, I really love this type of noodle right up my alley. This type of dry, springy, filled with the fragrance of pork lard, everything. And the star of my dish is not the noodle actually. The noodle is already very nice, but the chicken is next level. Eh? This Taiwanese fried chicken chop is kind of different from the ones we had outside. The chicken is nicely better. Mm -hmm. The skin is extra crunchy and crispy. Mm -hmm. The powder, the salt they sprinkle on top is very fragrant. Mm -hmm. And they are using chicken thigh, not chicken breast. Because normally the Taiwan chicken chop we buy from outside, right? Normally they use chicken breast one. Uh -huh. Chicken breast ah. Oh. Breast meat with some bone one, okay. the red part. Okay. But this one is full on chicken thigh. So it has more flavor and it's juicier. But one downside, the pork lard itself does not Agnes asked me to try also. A bit tad salty and it has a weird taste. It's not just a bit of salt. It is massive. When, when, when I bite into the pork lard, right? Can you re like, replay up to my expression? Huh? When I tried the pork lard, I was like, <laughs> it's, it's full salty. I'm like, I'm drinking the seawater. Yeah. <laughs> So like it in terms of the flavor because I felt it's more to the sweeter side of the noodle because I am expecting to have like a savory noodle but end up all my mouth is just very sweet and I tried their chili I don't like it for me it's not about spiciness because for me right this is an addition of flavor when you add this into the noodle but what I taste is only spicy it doesn't have that umami taste but the texture of the noodle I have to give it to them is very spicy for my dish the pork mucho the chili as well down here very nice just buy this tell them i want to buy this set but i just want the pork not the rice or anything else the top is just just take the pork
very nice layering into it, the lean meat, then the thick meat, then there's another layer of fat in between the lean wow, and the so thick meat. Over, so many levels. up. <laughs> Damn good. But for 1990, maybe it's a little bit too pricey for me. But the pork big piece, eh? It's a pork big piece, but if this was 1590, I'll be more happy. Right now, thumbs tie for day one, day one noodle, are done ready? Yes. Okay, three, two, one. Uh. Yep, solid. So in total, they want to do the have a total of one, one and, and a half thumbs up. up. Yay! I but I think the color is just right behind. You know, but it's oh, so pricey. But I got aircon. <laughs> <laughs> no lah. Actually, it's because of the the noodle. The, the, the noodle really saved this place. Yeah. All right, guys. So that's all for today's episode. Our first outdoor shooting episode after MCO 3.0. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. So out of the three restaurants that we tried today, which one is our favorite? I'll go first. For me, my favorite goes to Laguna Filipino. Ooh. Because I felt the food is really eye opening and the price is very reasonable. Mm. As for me, my usual phrase is a tough choice between flakes and Filipino bun restaurant. But if I really have to choose one, I will go to Laguna. I would say it's Laguna because the pork knuckle skin really blew my mind. Oh wow, so it's a three way agreement on Laguna. Baby. Yeah. Mm. And that's all for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You'll see you again the next week. And also, be sure to like, share, and subscribe our Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, our own Instagram, can you or not? Dot my, yeah? Give us a follow. Keep supporting us and also let us know in the comment section what we should eat next and where we should go next. Yep. Yeah. Peace out. A town down. Don't shut, Asha, Asha. Asha, Asha, Asha.